Well, tech experts have been predicting it for years, and looking back, we can now say 2014 <laughs> was the year of mobile. Last year, the number of mobile phones on the planet exceeded the total population of the Earth. <laughs> More people than ever picked up their phones to do their holiday shopping, and mobile payment technology hit the mainstream with the launch of Apple Pay. Look who's here, I'm our back. gadget <laughs> guy, Steve Van Dinter. If you think that's all exciting, <laughs> just wait till what to see what's in store for 2015. Good Welcome back. Hey, thank you. Good to be back. Good to it's a good time to see you guys. One time performance. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll, okay. yeah, we'll work this All out. Right. <laughs> well, you know, we're just a few weeks into 2015, and things are already really, really exciting in the tech world. Last week, for instance, Microsoft gave us a quick look at its new Windows 10, the next iteration of its popular operating system. But you know what? It wasn't Windows that stole the spotlight. It was Microsoft HoloLens, which is a surprise announcement to those in the tech world. It will bring futuristic holograms to you, provided you're wearing a special headset. Now, in this video provided by Microsoft, you see a world where your smartphone's notifications appear in your kitchen. An HDTV screen can be resized to fit a whole wall, and 3D modeling in, uh, can be viewed and manipulated as if it were a real thing. Really cool technology. No word yet on pricing. I don't think it's going to be cheap, but expect to see it in person sometime this summer. Interesting. Wow. Yeah, very, very cool stuff, right? Kind of creepy, almost. Uh, yeah, you know, it's not. Uh, It'll be interesting to It'll see. It'll be interesting. All right, well, besides being extremely futuristic, do you notice any theme to that video as you're looking at that guy interacting with his background? No. Okay, well, I'll tell I you. I wasn't paying attention. I'll, I'll give you but a cheat. he's wearing stuff. He's wearing stuff. So <laughs> the thing is, he didn't know he's connected. So that's the idea, making okay. the Internet seamless. And that's what 2015 is all about, interacting with the Internet of Things without actually even knowing it. So I'm going to have you hold on to this guy. This is the Pebble. This is one of the first smartwatches that came out. If Over you return it, there we go. This came out uh, back in 2013. What's nice about this, this one's waterproof. It lets you get your notifications. You see there, there's a text message oh, coming vibrating. in. Yeah, and then you get a phone call. There it goes. Uh, delivers messages from your iPhone or from your Android device. And it can connect to its own robust app store. You can download uh, watch faces. You can uh, use it for fitness, things like that. I actually had one of my friends, Nate, who's a fitness trainer. He was wearing this for a couple weeks and uh, said it's been working great for workouts because he can, he can use it for his music. He can use it to uh, check um, you know, how much he's working out with people. So can I and, answer uh, a phone from here? Uh, no? Well, you can't. So oh, that's okay. it'll just it'll <laughs> notify. notify you. You still okay. got to use your phone. All right, but so. at ninety nine dollars, it's still a really great buy. Okay. But next, of course, there's more. There's more. Uh, the newest generation of smartwatches is here, and this is the Moto 360. It comes with an attractive color touchscreen, so we get a zoom in here. I can show you. This also displays your notifications, and you can just pull them up from the bottom. You got your Facebook. You've got your more Facebook. More, there's Mark Love got more Facebook. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of posts <laughs> on my page right now. But you got your email and all this stuff. Um, you can easily access it, which is nice, and it responds via voice. So watch if I say it here. If we zoom in. Okay, Google. How old is Barack Obama? So it's going to go ahead and look at that, and it's going to download the information from my phone. There you see here he's, uh, what, 53, 53 years old. There you go. So instant access to information via voice, which I really like. It's easy response via text message, simple flick of the wrist. We'll go ahead and light it up. And that one costs uh, $249 at Moto360.com. And trust me, the more you wear these types of devices, the more you get used to them. I get people saying, well, why would you want a smartwatch? I got my phone in my pocket. But you can sit in meetings. You can kind of... <laughs> Pull your sleeve back and take a look at notifications. And when you've got text coming in, you don't have to worry about responding real quickly because you can say, oh, you yeah, know, it's my, uh, well, maybe I'll get back to him a little bit later. <laughs> okay. I bet you get dependent And this works on too. Apple? That just works with Android right now. Okay, so just Android. if iPhone, phones, uh, iPhone users out there going, wait, what about us? Uh, smartwatches for you are also headed your way. Uh, the most anticipated being the Apple Watch launching in April. This attractive device will also feature an interactive color touchscreen, the ability to run smart. apps, response via voice along with access to Siri and it also adds in which is really cool the ability to pay via NFC or that wireless sensor against a register at the uh, stores and Apple Watch will work only with iPhones expected to cost $349 so very cool stuff you know since we see all these smart devices coming out you know we're gonna see plenty of connected devices we talked about that seamlessness this year allowing us to control everything from our heating so I've got my phone here controlling my thermostat uh, at home so I can actually adjust wirelessly um, to that's the, that's the nest yeah, the Nest, uh, two lighting and much more. So I've got Hue lights. I can actually turn on and off my lights at my house. It's very cool. Again, called the Internet Things. And if you don't see that connectivity, it's on purpose. Interesting. I heard the, the trouble with the Apple Watch is they're having problems with the batteries. So people talk about that. Now they're saying it's about two to three hours of active life and then about 19 hours of use in a day. You're going to get through a day with it more than likely. If you're expecting to get more than one or two, one day, it's probably not going to happen. Okay, this is still buzzing. Yeah, we'll have to <laughs> we'll have to uh, tell Jane it's Pebble Mark, that uh, she, yeah, God right? <laughs> Good to see you again, Steve. Good to, Good to see, see you too. Right. We'll do this again. Next All time right. you're, now good. you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Steve. You're welcome.